Do you know your speech by heart? No. It's in your heart. Do you it's need... in my heart. It's in your heart? Or is it on this piece of paper? On that one, too. Put it into it. So, if, if your heart were missing, would you still be able to read? Your husband will be missing. If my heart was missing, my husband would be giving my speech. So this is your heart, and I can't lose it. You hold this is important heart, to know. You hold Aww. my heart in his pocket. <laughs> All right, it's my turn. Amanda, I have always felt the need to protect you all throughout our lives. I have wanted to make sure you and Nisha were always all right. I didn't want anyone or anything to hurt you. When I moved out of mom's in 19... <laughs> I thought I had damaged our relationship permanently. was stronger than ever. Seeing you sit in such a vulnerable state scared me. I thought we lost you. I was scared you wouldn't be the same. She's sad! <laughs> but I always knew I would still be here for you no matter what. And the fact that your friend Charlie was by your side every day said a lot to me. It became easy for me to accept your relationship as it grew from friend into boyfriend and girlfriend. Because he had been there and knew your story, he saw our family at a less than stellar moment, and he didn't turn and run. That showed me that he loved and respected you from the start. So with Charlie by your side, I don't feel like I need to watch over you as much. You and Alicia have both found someone that I grew up to take over my job. I'm not sure if I like that, but I feel safe giving you to him. You may be 27, but you will still will be and always are my baby sister. She might be a little crazy, Charlie, but she's our crazy, so take care of her. <laughs> and always remember, the goal in marriage is not to think alike, but to think together. I love you both.